All right, YouTube. This is a glimpse of my home lab. Check it out. I used to do music. Let's get a little closer so y'all can check it out for real. I used to do music, right? And so this desk is actually the desk I use in my studio. I had my Pro Tools set up in here. This same power conditioner is what I used previously. Um, my DigiL toolbox, my equalizers, uh, my compressors, everything was racked in my in my desk. Well, three kids later, I no longer do music. Sorry for the background, I got my, my routers and switches on, so that's the noise you hear. But three kids later, Three kids later, and I no longer do music. I just use this for my setup at home. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this off. So, just to kind of let y'all in, this this whole setup that I have here. I'm sorry about the lighting; it kind of sucks. So, you know what? Hold on. All right, YouTube. I had to get some better lighting. Now, this is my home setup. I got my PC down there. It's old, like, it's a dual core. It's probably like a 1.8 or something. But I'm running Windows 10 and dual boot, Lubuntu, Linux, if you know anything about it. I may end up doing some videos just to put people up on game with Linux. But anyway, sorry, I'm holding this with my hand. I'm gonna put it back on my tripod here shortly, but I got my speakers. I got my monitor. I got two of my switches. These are actually layer two. It's a 2950, which is old faithful. You know, 2950 here, 24 port switch. I think it's 10100, but that's all I need for lab, lab purposes. And then I have a 3500 XL. This is a very old switch, but like for instance, VTP, Creating VLANs are done in the privilege exec mode rather than the uh, configuration mode. You get what I'm saying? It's a very old switch, but it's cool. I, I figured it out. Using all hardware gives you experience with different things. I have no problem with it. Now, here's my baby right here. This, th this 3550, layer 3 switch, 48 port. It's a beast. I can get a lot done with that. And then I have three 2600 routers. They're all pretty much good. I can run my DM VPN with IPsec on all of them, but one, um, I believe it's this one, this 2620. I'm unable to do SSH and IPsec, but it's cool. I still make it work. I usually just make that my ISP and then run different things off of it like that. So, it does its purpose. Then I got my laptop set up here. Here I have two USB to serial connections. That way I can get into multiple devices at the one. things I do with my home lab. Hold on, let me put this back on my tripod. We rolling. So this is kind of the way I set my stuff up in my lab. But basically, I'll have my, my routers and my switches here, as you can see. And I'll have those running. Let me see that light now. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now we, now we lit up. Now, typically when I'm in my lab, I just create. I mean, I'm not afraid to experiment. I got a whole bunch of stuff that I use. You know, I got this AirNet. Well, I got about five of these AirNet 1200 lightweight uh, access points that I configure, hook up to my switch. I can do some penetration testing. I can do configuring. There's a million things that I could do in my lab that I do do. That I do. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so, one of the things, one of the problems that you run into when you're using hardware. Oh, one more thing. 
this whole setup here, you may be asking how much did I pay for this setup. So, I got on Craigslist. I got lucky. I would just woke up one day, man. Uh, I just woke up one day after I passed my CCNA. Like, man, packet trace ain't getting it done. And GNS3 definitely is not getting it done. So, I need some real switches. So, I looked up Craigslist and just so happened I found some lady that was selling three switches for $30. I paid $30 for these switches. God is good. But on top of that, I was working at this company and I just started asking people, asking around about routers. Anybody had some? And so this guy, he sold me these three routers for 75 bucks. So for about 105 bucks, that's my whole setup. I already have my laptop, already have my desktop. I'm good to go for 105 bucks. Now, some people is going to say this. Well, your devices aren't running version 15 or version uh, 15.0, so you're not going to be able to pass a CCNA or CCMP. I disagree. Now, there are going to be some differences. There's going to be some changes. But at the end of the day, the concept, if you understand the concepts and you can basically do the question mark, <laughs> you know you know how to do the help to complete your commands. If you know how to do that, Man, it doesn't matter. As long as you understand the concepts and theories and what's really going on in Cisco, you can knock it out. So my, my suggestion to you, if you can find some old hardware and get your hands on that, dive right in. Don't, don't let nobody tell you that you can't make it work. And with that being said, thank you. I'm at 100 subscribers. Um, it's amazing. I never thought I'd be here. I never thought that I could help people on this type of platform this is what I love to do and I just hope that you know this can continue to grow I can continue to reach out and inspire people and just it's been it's been dope it really has I'm so thankful peace